In this video, I'm going to show you the second step in creating a shooter style arcade game. We're going to set up the projectile or the bullet and I'm going to use the lightning sprite. I'm going to show you how to create and set clones, setting the size, position, angle and speed. We're going to use two conditions. We're going to use if then and repeat until. We're also going to use a sensing block to create the script that recognizes when the sprite is touching the edge so that we can delete it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the sprite library and I'm going to get the lightning sprite. Now something I can see with the lightning sprite at the moment is that it is pointing vertically. It's up and down. Because a sprite by default is going to move at 90 degrees, when this sprite moves, it's going to move like this. So like we did with the rocket ship, I'm going to go into the costume tab and I'm going to rotate this sprite using the rotation handle until it's level. I'm going to go back to the script area. Now we need to set up our code. And one of the main things about this project, as far as scratch skills goes, is clones. So let's have a look at them now. I'm going to go to control, and the final three blocks in the block palette are the clone blocks. The first one we're going to use is to create a clone. Then, once that clone is created, the size, the position, how it moves. And finally, how that clone disappears from the stage or is deleted. We're going to have two separate scripts here. So let's look at creating the clone first of all. Now we are going to use the space bar as a trigger, but to begin with, I'm just going to set up a very basic script that's going to create the clone and move the clone. So we need an event block when the green flag is clicked. Now this sprite at the moment, we don't want to see. We only want to see the clones. So the very first command is going to be to hide the sprite. Then I'm going to use a forever loop, forever create a clone of myself, but that will make too many clones. I'm going to get it to wait one second between. So forever create a clone of myself every second. So now I need to control where this starts, the size of it, what it looks like and how it's going to move. And that all happens here in the second script. So when I start as a clone, I want my clone to start inside the spaceship and come out through the top. So I'm going to use the same go to position that we used for the spaceship. Go to zero, negative 180. Go to zero and minus 180. So here's our starting position. Now I'm going to set the size of the sprite. I'm going to use in looks set size and I'm going to test a few different percentage values until I'm happy with the size that I've got. I'll try half the size first of all 50% and double click on this block. That's okay but it's still a little bit too big. I'll try half that size again. Now for me that's a little bit small I'm just going to try 10% more. You can choose whatever size you want for your game. What I need to do now is I need to point this sprite in the direction of the spaceship. So I'm going to point in direction and we've got our angle data variable and put that in there. Now we need to show the sprite. So we're going to show the sprite. At the moment it's hidden. So we need to show the clone. I need to organize how the sprite is going to move. I'm going to use a move block. I'm going to slow that down a little bit to five steps, but I need to repeat this, but I need to set a condition. I want it to move until it touches the edge. I go to control and I'm going to use a repeat until condition, put my move inside of here. And now in sensing, I can use the touching sensing block and change it to edge. So now I'm going to go to a position, set the size, point in direction, and then show. The clone is then going to move in the direction that it's pointing until it touches the edge. And when it touches the edge, it can delete. Right now, this won't work. I'm going to click on the green flag and we don't see any clones. The problem is, is that this minus 180 
is actually touching the edge. Now there's two things that we can do here. First of all, I'm going to change where this sprite starts. I can use this tool here and reset where the middle of the sprite is. So already that's working. So if yours works straight away, that's fine. If it doesn't, something that you can do is that you can change your Y position to something like minus 175. And that just means that your sprite is not starting on the edge and therefore deleting before it even starts. So what I'm seeing here at the moment, two problems. Number one, my sprite is not coming out quite at the right place. Also, my clone is on top of my spaceship. So I'll go to my spaceship, into costumes, and I'm going to check the center of the sprite and I can see that it's not centered. So I'm just going to line that up and straight away now that's fixed that problem. I'll come back to scripts. In the lightning sprite, I want it to move before it shows and comes out of the end here. So I'll stop this script. And I'm just going to move some steps. Now I know that 10 is not very far. I'm going to guess it's about 150. So I would like to move 150 steps before it even shows. Let's test that right now. So I can see that's coming out way too high. I probably need to almost halve that. I'm going to guess 80 steps. I'm happy with that. I'm now going to test that the angle changes when I press the arrow key. So the projectile, the bullet, is coming out at the angle that the spaceship is pointing. That's good. So now I have to set up my trigger. I want to be able to press the space key to shoot. So I have to change how I'm creating my clones. So I'm just going to pull this apart. We are going to use a forever loop, but we're going to set up something similar to what we did with the spaceship, where we're going to set up an if then condition with a key press. I'll come back to my lightning. We're going to use an if then block with the sensing key pressed. We'll leave it on space this time. And now we're going to create a clone. I might set this to 0 0.5. And let's test that now. So I shoot one at a time. And if I press the space key quickly, it's only going to give me one every half a second. You can make modifications to your values if you want. In the next video, you're going to see how you can create clones to fly across the top of the screen that we can shoot with the lightning bolt.